Yeah, hi, uh, very good evening. So today's topic is common problems in film exposure and development, right? So we have various uh, problems associated with developing or processing your radiographs, ranging from light radiographs, dark radiographs, fogging of film, light spots, brown stain. So in this video, we'll try to summarize various causes for all these problems in film exposure as well as development. So I'll be just noting down the list, so you'll be giving me the answer, right? So you'll be having more or less like a discussion rather than a one side or one way presentation, right? So what are all the common problems which we face while developing radiographs? So based on your experience, put down in form of comments like what are all the problems we face while developing or processing X-rays? Yeah, a very good evening all of you. Yes, one can be dark radiographs. Yes, sure and living. So anything else? Because we often face many problems while developing radiographs, especially when we are in uh, third year, right? When we start a uh, posting, yeah, it can be cone cut, dark filling or light filling. Good. Underdeveloped filling. It's underdeveloped or light film. Okay, fine. Light radiographs. What else? Yes elongation foreshortening these are some of the problems associated with your projection geometry right angulations and all we're talking about problems associated with uh, exposure as well as uh, developing of films good tight track appearance film fog yeah tight track or herringbone appearance yes obviously foreshortening elongation okay that's fine yellowish stains in film good Brown stains, yellow stains, yes, yellowing due to improper fixation, true. Blurring, crimped marks, yes, or excessive bending of your films can lead to light spots. Artifacts, yes, there can be artifacts like static uh, discharge on your film which has this lightning bolt appearance, yeah. Now I'm not talking about artifacts, I'm talking about various problems we face when we are developing a film. Uh, so problems associated with exposure and problems associated with development. So as you all have been mentioning, yes. Double exposure, very good. Yes, there can be double exposure or light leakage leading to again a dark radiographs because of improper safe lighting good anything else what if patient moves or what if the film moves during process of taking radiographs what do you get it I and mean, what kind of error do you face where a patient moves when you're taking a radiograph Obviously, it is blurred radiograph. Good, Abhishek. So, blurring and cone cut and all the commanded partial images, right? Yeah. Anything else? What What if when you're developing or when you're or improper handling of your film can lead to what? I mean, uh, once you're developing, once the film abrades or comes in contact with your walls of your tank, then what can pro possibly happen? Yes, hazing of the image, streaking, good. Yes, peeling of emulsion, exactly, very good. There can be peeling of emulsion. Yes, cone cuts, yes, there can be film fog, very good. So we almost have the list of entire problems in the discussion which you mentioned here. So all these are some of the common problems which you face. Uh, which are associated with either improper developing or improper exposure that is high or low tube current or high or low tube potential right so i'll just list out and you let me know what are the reasons for these problems which you commonly face so starting with light radiographs i hope you can see what i'm writing here yes
light radiographs. I hope it's uh, visible, right? Yeah. So tell me the list of various processing errors that is when you're developing various processing errors that can lead to light radiographs. Yes, overlapping of teeth, foreshortening, or elongation, all this come under, I mean, projection geometry, right? I mean, when your parameters are not properly followed there, then obviously you can have these problems. These cannot be mentioned here. So what are the common problems in film exposure development? Yes, as you said. Okay. So what could be the reasons, uh, various processing errors, which lead to light radiographs? good so there can be underdevelopment over fixing or excess fixation underdeveloped film too long time in fixer or temperature too low yes good over fixing So it can be under development, which includes your decreased developing time or decreased temperature, or it can be because of depleted developer solutions. Yeah, we have some reflection here. Anyways, yes, it can also be because of diluted or contaminated developer solution or excessive fixation so you can just make a note of these points simultaneously as we are discussing right now if you stand here i think it will be clear so various processing errors because of which we find light radiographs include as you said under development so this under development can be either too low temperature. I mean, if you remember, we have a table where they've given you the temperature and the duration of your developing. So, too low or developing for too less time or less duration can lead to your light radiograph or depleted developer solutions, or it can be because of diluted or contaminated developer solutions, or even excessive fixation. These are some of the processing errors which can lead to light radiographs isn't it exactly yeah we'll come back to these exposure parameters also so obviously under exposure is going to cause light radiographs so what are the various exposure parameters that can lead to light radiographs so as as Prishanti rightly said yes there can be under exposure which means so can you be more specific? Whatever tube current, tube potential, whatever time, whatever film source distance. Yes, light leak will cause dark radiographs. Exactly. But we're talking about exposure parameters. Good. Yes, badness low KVP, that is low tube potential, yes, low tube potential and tube current, is there anything else? Insufficient time of exposure. I mean, you have a timer set, you would have experience with this when you are taking radiographs. Insufficient time of exposure. Yes, less time. Or, very good, film source distance. Too great. So, less number of X-rays reaching the film, isn't it? 
Anything else? What is this type? I mean, you have this type track appearance, right? Uh, one of you rightly mentioned previously. So, type track appearance or herringbone pattern when there is a reversal of film. When you're exposing film and you reverse it. I hope it's visible. Right. So, these are some of the exposure parameters, right? So, low tube current, tube potential, insufficient time of exposure, film source distance too great or too much increased or reversal of your films you can have your tight track appearance or herringbone pattern, isn't it? Yes. So, these are some of the reasons why you have light telegraphs various processing errors and various parameters associated with exposure. Very simple. Right. So now, keeping this in mind, let's discuss dark radiographs, which is very important again. Because often we see many patients pertain to this. Also known as ping pong appearance. What is this ping pong appearance? I'm hearing it for the first time, Rupali. Can you please elaborate? Ping pong appearance. And where did you come across? I mean, I'm asking your reference. Now, let's proceed with dark radiographs. So, more or less, we'll have opposite parameters here in case of your dark radiographs. Okay, herringbone pattern is also known as ping pong appearance. Okay, Langevin and Langley's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Thank you for sharing, uh, Rupali. Right. Yes, now coming to dark radiographs. So, what are the various processing errors? So, quickly, uh, you can make a list of various processing errors so that I can make a note of them here. So, dark radiographs are because of good it can be over development that is too much or increased time or it can be increased temperature yes over development so this includes increased time as well as increased temperature Yes, light leaks. Yes, accidental exposure to light. Good. Light leaks. Yes. Yes, we'll discuss those dark lines separately, Abhishek. What about developer concentration? If developer concentration is too high, Developer concentration too high can lead to dark radiographs. And also, as you mentioned, good improper safe lighting. So we have criteria for safe lighting, the distance and the type of filters, isn't it? So improper safe lighting. Yes. So these are some of the reasons why you have your dark radiographs, various processing errors, right? So it can be your over development, that is increased temperature, increased duration of developing, light leaks, improper safe lighting, developer concentration too high. We'll discuss about film fog subsequently. Yes, there can be overlapping parameters also, we'll discuss film fog next. Exactly. Yes, we have the temperature range. I mean, if you want, you can just make a note of the temperature range or the duration of your time and the subsequent or corresponding temperature range. Yes. Correct. 
I just write down here, you can just make a note of those things, right? Yeah. So developing time, let me just mention here. I just erase it, anyways, I'll erase that later. Yeah. So you can just make a you note know, temperature and duration. Duration of a developing. So if the temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so temperature is in Fahrenheit, then what is the developing time? Yes, it is 5 minutes. Right? So it increases in temperature, the developing time in fact decreases. So you have 70, 72, 76, and 80, and corresponding values. Four and a half minute, four, three, and two and a half minute. So these are the corresponding values of your time and temperature for developing processing films, right? So you can just make a note of it. Yes, this was asked previously also. That's true. Yes, Nidhi, we'll discuss film fog next, right? Yeah. So, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, as you can see. 5 minutes duration. 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 and a half minutes. 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 minutes. 76 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 minutes. 80 degrees Fahrenheit, it's 2 and a half minutes. We need to memorize these values, right? Yeah. So this was last previous week. True. Now, so these are some of the processing errors why we see dark reading graphs, right? And also dark reading graphs can also be because of overexposure. So list of the factors pertaining to exposure which can lead to dark reading graphs. Exactly what is this is for developing solution. Obviously, the opposite of what we have seen previously. Good sugar engineering, it can be short film source districts. Yes? Good. Obviously, it is excess tube current and tube voltage. Good. Anything else? Yeah. Excessive time or increased time. So pretty simple to remember once you start comparing, isn't it? So these are some of the exposure parameters, right? And then we'll have a summary once again. Now, so apart from light radiographs and dark radiographs, now we'll discuss contrast. Right, contrast, the ability to differentiate your radio, lucent and radio opaque areas, light and dark areas in your radiograph, right? So contrast, insufficient contrast. Let me just write down here itself. I think we have space. Insufficient contrast. Now tell me the reasons why or in which cases we can have insufficient contrast. I mean, we discussed, I mean, we have these few images in uh, previous discussions also in our test series and also in one of the, uh, I mean, uh, virtual classroom sessions where we projected some images. I think we've sh uh, shown you some images which have very poor contrast, comparing that with an image with a better contrast, if you remember. Uh, the radiograph of uh, lower uh, molars and premolars. So what could lead to insufficient contrast? Obviously, when the film is not well developed, you cannot make out the dark areas and light areas, right? Good. So, underdevelopment could be one reason for insufficient contrast. Under development. Yes? This was asked, in fact, what you mentioned, Nidhi, the same question was asked, I mean, 
uh, contrast can be increased by decreasing KVP in fact, right? Yeah, good, good point. Underdevelopment or it can be underexposure or it can be increased KVP to distribute potential. Yes, and it's also mentioned that filling fogging can diminish the contrast. Filling fog. So under development, under exposure, or insufficient exposure, that's true. Or it can be increased to potential or film fogging. So these are some of the reasons for your insufficient contrast. Now, so coming to film fog. So when you see a fogging of film, as Nidhi has been mentioning right from the beginning, light leaks can also lead to film fog. There can be light leaks, anything else? Double exposure again is a different parameter, right? Yeah. Even contaminated solutions. Contaminated solutions can lead to film fog. Yes. In fact, it's mentioned that ore development could be one of the reasons for a film fog. Overdevelopment, yes, bad film, contaminated film. Yes, light leaks and improper safe lighting. So, similarly, we've seen previously also. Light leaks, improper safe lighting can lead to the dark radiographs or there can be even fogging of the film. Yes, film too old, when it is stored beyond its expiry date, there can be film fog. Yes. Exactly. Right. So these are some of the reasons for your film fog. Now let's see various reasons for dark spots. Dark spots. So what could be the reasons for your dark spots? You can just give it a try. Dark spots. If the film is contaminated with developer solution before processing, there can be dark spots. And even excessive bending of your film or mishandling can lead to static discharge. There can be lightning bolt appearance, dark lines or dark spots can be seen. That can be an artifact also. Yes, static electricity, static discharge. Yes. Yes, bending also causes black line, as I should have said, good. Fingerprint contamination also. Fingerprint contamination. Yes. Yeah. Anything else?
I mean, when you are using automatic processors, we have, I mean, all this we're doing, we're discussing about manual processing, right? When you're going for automatic processors, excessive pressure, I mean, if you observe any time in your department, you have some rollers through which your film passes, excessive pressure by rollers or even your contaminated rollers can lead to these dark spots. Excessive pressure by rollers or even contaminated rollers can lead to dark spots or lines. Yes, in automatic processing. I mean, have you ever seen automatic processing? I mean, it's a very simple. It, I mean, we can eliminate all these manual errors. I mean, I'm sure every college will have these automatic processors. Yes, yes, in accidental exposure, the part which is exposed will be dark because your silver, I mean, there is deposition or there is conversion of neutral silver atoms in your silver bromide crystals into dark grains. I mean, if you go through the mechanism, like how latent image is formed to be much more clear for you. Exactly. Now, coming to light spots, since as we have your dark spots, we can even have light spots I mean one light spot is I mean uh, you have your uh, radiograph identification of or the area where you hold your radiograph with your radiograph holder that area is not there you can have light spot there I mean the point on an IOPA which is used for holding it I mean we place your radiographic holder there or you call that as radiographic clip that uh, remains undeveloped if there can be a light spot or there can be drop off fixing solution that's true yes similar as we have seen here previously dark spot can be because of filling contaminated with developer solution before processing so in case of light spots filling contaminated with fixer solution good anything else yes it can be drop off your uh, fixer solution scratched filling emulsion paint yes they all come under different criteria anyways that's fine even excessive bending of filling Right? So these are your dark spots and light spots. So anything else you want to add? It's not fully immersed, you'll not get the entire picture. We have that in a separate category for this. Yes, and also mm, yes. Dark spots, we have two opposite reasons in both. Dark spot can also be because of when your film is, con is in contact with your tank in fixer solution. So uh, please listen to this carefully. When your film is in contact with your tank in fixer solution can lead to dark spot. And when the film is in contact with your tank in developer solution can lead to light spot. You're going to tell me the reason why. It's very simple. As I said, I'll just repeat. You can just make a note. When the film is in contact with your tank in fixer solution, it can lead to dark spot. The opposite, when the film is in contact with your tank in developer solution, can lead to light spot. You just make a note of these two points also, and you're going to tell me the reason why. Yes. So in the meantime, we'll just proceed with other parameters. Now, let me just erase this. We don't have much space. I hope you have noted these values, right? These values are given even in your white and fabric. Yes.
and then we have your yellow or brown stains the moment we come across these yellow or brown stains what we do we just fix it and place it in fixer solution again it vanishes isn't it as one of you mentioned previously so these yellow or brown stains can be because of what could be the reason exactly yes abhishek fixer causes light spot but when the film is in contact with the tank in fixer solution that's not going to get fixed so it's only dull but not fixed hence it remains dark and vice versa or opposite in case of your dark spots or corresponding light spots it's very simple as i said fixer solution lightens but when it is in contact when the film is in contact with the tank in fixer solution the area which is in contact is not going to get fixed hence we find dark spots i hope it's clear right exactly exactly for this good yes even improper washing so yellow or brown stains can be because of improper washing good anything else exactly in case of contact with tank it is reversed yes depleted developer or fixer mm -hmm. and even contaminated solutions finally so contaminated solutions depleted solutions or improper washing can lead to yellow or brown stains good now let's move on to blurring so when do you see blurring as i asked you previously blurring so when do you see blurring yes good when the patient moves good you are ensuring so if the patient moves or the patient remains static if the tube head moves there can be blurring yes when the patient moves or when there is movement of tube head yes or when there is yes when the film moves or when there is double exposure good so these are some of the factors which can lead to blurring exactly good good now as you have been mentioning previously partial images so when you see partial images on radiographs it means the entire diagnostic area is not covered we find only partial images so when do you come across these partial images yes one one is when your uh, tube head is not covering the entire radiograph so it is called as cone cut or even if your tube head orientation is perfect when you are developing when your film is not completely immersed in solutions so incomplete immersion can lead to your partial images exactly angulation and all that has something to do with i mean you mean to say angulation means covering your film with your tube head okay yeah so when top of the film is not completely immersed often uh, we take it for granted and there can be this issue right yes in that case or even in case of a cone cut that is misalignment of your x-ray tube head with respect to that of your x-ray film yes cone cuts which we are all masters in isn't it 
And finally, emulsion paint. I mean, have you tried this any time uh, when you look at the ready rough and you, with your fingernail or even with a probe when you try to, you can have the scratch marks or peel of, peeling of your emulsion, isn't it? So emulsion peel, when there is friction between your film and your tank, that is abrasion. So abrasion can lead to peeling. And your scratches on film, even excessive time in washing can also lead to peeling. Good. Yes, Hindu. Yeah, you can consider that as yeah, misalignment rather than saying it as improper because improper angulation it means it carries the message that it can be either foreshortening or elongation or improper horizontal angulation, right? So misalignment of your X-ray cube head would be more appropriate. Exactly. We're all that's why I said Fridu, we're all masters in cone cut. We used to wonder, uh, we used to ask our staff also like, how can we take a radiograph without cone cut out of frustration? But it all comes with practice. Yes? Yes, fairness. Increase temperature. Hold development. Right. So we'll just have a summary for five minutes and then see we can have a lot many questions, right? You can just make a note of that, I'll just move aside, you can just make a note of all these points and then we can conclude, right? You can just take a screenshot or you can just take a pic. Anyways, all these parameters are available even in your white and faro. If you feel that you, you don't have time to refer white and faro, you can just take a, a pick of this uh, image, right? So you'll just have a summary. Okay. So as you can see, we can have various problems in film exposure and development. There can be light radiographs, dark radiographs, insufficient contrast, film fog, dark spots, light spots, yellow or brown stains, blurring, partial images and emulsion peel. Isn't it? So, various processing errors which can lead to light radiographs include your underdevelopment, decreased time or decreased temperature, depleted developer solution or diluted or contaminated developer solution or even excessive fixation. So these are some of the processing challenges. Exposure parameters like low MA and KVP insufficient time, increased film source distance and reverse flow of film can lead to underexposure, leading to light radiographs ultimately, right? So dark radiographs, quite opposite to that of light radiographs. Processing errors, over development, light leaks or improper safe lighting which can lead to film fog as well as dark radiographs and developer concentration too high and various exposure parameters like increased MA, KVP, increased exposure time and short film source distance. And insufficient contrast can be because of increased tube potential which is very important, underdevelopment, underexposure or film fog. And film fog as such can be because of light leaks or improper safe lighting, overdevelopment, contaminated solutions. And then you have your dark spots, so dark spots can be because when your film is, contact, is in contact with your tank in your fixer solution, film contaminated with developer, excessive bending, fingerprint contamination, excessive pressure by rollers or contaminated rollers. Light spots when your film is in contact with your tank in developer solution, so that area is not developed, hence it remains light. So also along with that, 
film concentration. Uh, yeah, this we discussed previously. Excessive bending of film can also lead to your light spots. And yellow or brown stains, improper washing, depleted solutions or contaminated solutions. Blurring can be because of either movement of patient or movement of your tube head or double exposure. Partial images can be because of cone cut or incomplete immersion of the film in your developer of fixer solutions. And emulsion thin can be because of abrasion between the film and your tank when you're developing or even excessive washing time can lead to peeling of emulsion. Right? Yes, I show you. What's the question? Wrap film. Humid conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I show you. Wrap, wrap, wrap film, long stories, humid conditions, which category? Uh, it's mentioned as a film fog, film foggy can be because of the reasons which you cited. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, maybe. Uh, anyways, don't worry. I, I'll take a good pick. I can take a pick. I'll share the pick in our Google group and WhatsApp update group. Right? I know it's blurry, will not get, uh, I mean, a good picture. Yes, bareness. You, you want me to explain that stuff again? Okay. Abhishek is going to explain it. So, Abhishek, are you alive? Yes, Shivaranj, we are talking about grains, graininess. It's mentioned that graininess has something to do with size of the crystals. The larger, the, I mean, you have your silver bromide crystals in your uh, radiograph. The larger the size of your crystals, the more grainy the film would appear. So, graininess is attributed to the size of your crystals. Yes, deteriorated film would lead to film fog. Yes, Benny, so here it's simple. I mean, when do you get dark spots? See, assume that you have developed your film. Now, when you're fixing it, if your film is in contact with tank, the part of the film which is in contact with tank is not going to get fixed. So, that area is going to remain developed. That is your black grains, which has this dark spot appearance. So that's the reason why we find dark spots when your filling is in contact with your tank in fixer solution. On contrary, if the film is in contact with your tank in developer solution, that part of the film which is in contact with the tank in developer solution is not going to get developed. So you don't find these dark grain, silver grains deposited there. So as a result, they appear as light spots. Am I clear? Okay, warm developer can lead to grainy appearance. Okay. It's very simple, just assume that 
developer helps in developing but once your film is in contact with the tank there is no developing there so obviously when there is no developing the film appears light isn't it and opposite in case of light spots good abhishek yeah so uh, so we'll stop it here it's 35 minutes so we'll, as i said the strategy here is to confine the duration of our live sessions and uh, have that quality remaining still so we'll stop it here if you have any questions further you can drop them I refer white and faro if you feel you have no time or you're busy preparing for other subjects i'll i'll share the pick of what i've written on board you can just go ahead with that right i mean uh this is the most interesting part for me because uh, one person just explaining others listening it's only passive way of communication but i i personally enjoyed this live session because i see a lot lot of you answering questions which is really very really interesting so it shows that well, we have uh, everything has a lot of enthusiasm and energy and also we had one debate in our uh, class today uh, the topic was like smartphone uses or social networking pros and cons it was very lively you can just enjoy it. like when you have this kind of two way reciprocation yes so we'll come back in tomorrow with image based questions so shall we have it by 5 am in fact we never had it by 5 am for the past two weeks right so we'll have it by 5 am tomorrow Yes. Uh, before before leaving, uh, Toffee wants to say bye to all of you. So we'll invite Toffee onto the desk. Toffee. Is he sleeping? Is she sleeping? Yes. It's okay. Call her. Toffee. 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 Yeah, bye, good night.